Leo, how's the build-up been for this week? I know, like we've we've spoken a lot before about you know this this stage of the season and already being into the quarterfinals already. But has that sort of changed the approach or? Uh, no, not really. No. Um, yeah, the the week has been quite good. Like obviously with Sunday game, it makes it quite a long week. Um, so we get plenty of prep time. Players get plenty of prep time. Um, in terms of you know the the team, you know, a number of guys obviously played last week. Haven't had a couple of weeks off prior to that. And then there's some guys coming back this week after having had a couple of weeks off. Some guys have played the game in the middle of the three in the pros, and uh, they are back into the mix. So it's again, it's a it's a new team. So and we knew that was going to be the case. So um, obviously we played the three in the pros games. You know, very different types of performances in all three games. And um, we tried to give a good shot, good opportunity to a number of players. Um, and obviously this is the selection that we have off the back of that. So um, still a couple of injuries like like every other team out there at the moment um but you know the guys have prepped well this week and uh it's you know in terms of the game itself you know like leon and you're never too sure like what the attitude or motivation of the other teams is we're more concerned about ourselves and you know very similar to what it's been like the last few weeks um you know like at the end of the day like we, you know you say we've we've qualified but you know there's there's something other something else that we're going after at the moment we want to try and get the best seed we can get ideally you know we're sitting as top seeds at the moment but we'd like to be still top seeds come the end of round six which is you know we've been on sunday quick turnaround into Treviso the following saturday then you know if we get two good wins and um, we'll see where we sit at the back of that but um yeah for us it's just the mentality of just making sure that we're fighting for every single point that's available in the games like we've talked about it all the previous four rounds and how important that is because you know that's the attitude we've had so far to this point and it's served as well and it's got us this into, the, into this position where we are now and we just need to go on and finish the job so to speak so um, yeah the group is competitive they know it's there's lots at stake so there's lots at stake obviously for themselves individually over the next couple of weeks um, the game obviously on Sunday leads into Saturday and then that leads into the Six Nations and obviously we all know what's at stake there as well. In the build up to the game, how much of you know the, the, the trip to Leon early on in the season did you look at? What sort of were the, the main learnings that you, you, you took out of that game that you look to kind of um, forward? Yeah, well you see the the approach that they have. Um, you know, they kicked the ball quite a lot, Leon. You know, we'd seen them as a as quite an attacking like a, a team with sort of a very strong attacking mindset. Um, but the way they played against us, they they were they went after us in the air quite a bit, um, very aggressive around the contact area. So they're the things that we expect to see again. A um, number of changes probably from both teams from that game. Um, if you think that was very early on with the group coming back together, um, and that was the challenge for us at the time, trying to build that bit of cohesion in the group. Um, you know, we'd had a good win against Connacht, then we had Treviso into Leon, and we were a little bit mixed in terms of our performance levels at that stage. I think the group, the wider group, is a much better understanding now of what it is we're trying to do. Um, and, you know, the, this block has been good for us. Now it's just important that we try and finish out the block well. But, yeah, like Leon, you know, they've, you know, they've, they've a very deep squad, um, like a lot of the French teams, you know, and they're one, one of the most heavily resourced of all the French teams now. Um, very well coached team as well. So, um, just for our guys, like, it's just making sure we're very accurate in everything that we do and we're not giving life to the opposition. Two defeats for the pool. I mean, like a, you know, down, down to the years, people have talked for a long time about you know traveling French teams having having you know got through the, the campaign like this with those two defeats. Like, do do you expect like what what are you expecting from them? Like, you know, down, down to the years, French traveling French teams they haven't like once they realize that, you know there's, there's very little to essentially play for or. Are you expecting that at all? Yeah, like I will, obviously he's known a little bit about Pierre Mignoni. I, I, I think just the mindset like of their head coach, I think he's a very competitive person. Um, you know, the team that they picked, like they picked a very big forward pack, so it'll be a big physical confrontational type of game, I think. So just it's important that we're trying to not get dragged into that slow type of game. You know, so hopefully we get a fast-paced game and one where we can try and impose our game. So... Um, yeah, that's you know gets the crowd get into the game as well, and it's you know we get a bit of intensity into our performance, and you know like we feel if we bring you know our top level of intensity that we can that we can muster up, you know it's going to be hard for teams to to play against us. So that's the challenge for from our end. 
Um, and like you know, it's always you know you've got this balance of how much you focus on yourselves and what are you looking in terms of the opposition. So you know, all the while, every week that we play, we really want to be able to impose our game. So and um, we didn't really feel like we got to impose our game against Leon that well in round two. So. And um, we'll see how we go now this round. Do you know what's the latest on James Ryan? Uh, so James has got a bang in his calf last week. Um, yeah, he's he's okay. Yeah, like so he'll be back in the mix. We hope next week. And then Johnny, at the Stuart was speaking about him earlier on the week. Is that is the the timeline for him still Six Nations? Yeah, that that's season. what it looks like. Yeah, exactly at this stage. So he's he's back running there himself and. He's looking pretty good. Next week's probably a little bit too soon, but um, he's he's making good progress. Scott, what's the biggest, I suppose, challenge been like within the squad over the last couple of weeks? Like, there's been a fair good bit of like squad rotation, and you know, between all the interpro games and, and, and leading up to this, what are the sort of the biggest challenges for the players? I, I guess what Leo's already touched on is that cohesion piece. You know, changing the team like we have over the last you know three four weeks has been um, you know tricky to, to kind of get that constant team, team building together. So, you know, we've changed a number of times, but the guys are fresh now and ready to go for this one.